In this video, I'm going to show you how to use unlimited Lovable to make websites with no technical knowledge. And by the end of this video, you have your own fully functional website that you can share with the world. If that sounds good, I want you guys to leave a like, subscribe, and turn post notifications on if you haven't yet, and comment down below if you have any questions along the way. All the features of Lovable create unlimited websites and host it. And by the end of this video, you have your own fully functional website that you can share with the world. So you can see I'm currently on the lovable.dev website. And... I'm going to show you how to use all of the features, all of the models of cursor completely for free. Go to the top browser, type in antigravity.google, press enter. Click on this download button, whatever, if you're on Windows, if you're on Mac, if you're on Linux, it's going to show your operating system. So you click that button once and from here, you'll get the option on Mac, Windows, Linux. Since I'm on a Mac, I'll pick the Mac option. Click on download for your operating system. Once it's successfully downloaded, you're going to double click the installer to open. When the installer is open, you're going to drag and drop. And install when the install is open you're just going to drag and drop into the applications folder you're going to just install it once it's anti-gravity is installed you're going to open anti-gravity i just clicked open and allow permissions once anti-gravity is open you should see a screen like this and it'll say authentication required click on login of google once the screen pops up you're going to log in with an existing google account or if you don't have a google account you're going to click on create an account and literally just create an account since i have an account i'm going to log in and authenticate my account i logged in with my account and it'll pop up this to authenticate of google just click allow and and you can see here that once it shows a box here, it means you're successfully authenticated and with Google. Next, I'll show you how to create the website. Open up your desktop folder, create a brand new folder. We'll name this new lovable website. And you can see here we created a brand new empty folder. You're going to open up terminal. I opened up a brand new terminal. I typed in CD. I'm literally just going to drag in and drag and drop new lovable website in here. And you can see here new lovable website is there. So you can see here it's the empty folder, new lovable website. We're going to go back to anti-gravity, click on open folder and open that folder that we just created. We're going to find the new lovable website folder we just created. Click on open. And you can see here I opened anti-gravity where we're going to be able to use all of the features are lovable completely for free. And you can see here that we opened up the brand new folder that we just created. And on the right side is where we're going to vibe code. You can choose planning mode or fast mode. Make sure you're in planning mode because it's this better. Here's all of the models of lovable that we can use now for completely for free. There's Gemini 3, there's Claude Sonnet 4.5, and there's GPT. If you're watching in a later time, they'll update the models as well. Choose any model you want. We'll just put Claude Sonnet 4.5. We'll open up your internet browser. We'll go back, open, it in, open up the internet browser. Go back to lovable.dev and we can find here any website that we like to do. Um, there's a bunch of free options. We'll pick this lifestyle blog, for example. We'll click the link. We'll click preview as well. Here's a website that they have. Click on open a new tab. Okay, so we found this one that we like. You're going to right click. You're going to click on open frame a new tab. And you can see here, this is the lovable website. Looks cool. We're going to copy copy the link, go back to our anti-gravity, click create me a React website similar to, and we're going to paste in the lovable example link. So we paste it in that lovable example link, click create, and then like so, and then we're going to press send. So I typed in one single prompt, create me a React website similar to, and I gave it that lovable link. It's, it's just going to create a similar website. It's not going to be one-to-one, -one, but it's just going to be something similar to that example link. And we're just gonna allow it. So it's gonna it's opening up the lovable the lovable link and it's just literally looking to see what kind of link that we gave it, what kind of design, UI, UX. And we let it vibe code and do its thing right now. Okay, so it analyzed, it literally just opened up a new web browser and it analyzed that website link that we gave it. And it's pretty much just taking mental notes. It's gonna create the plan. As you can see here, the folder that we entered, it's still empty. The link that we gave it, it knows it's like a personal blog type website and it's trying to create the blog right now. Something similar, of inspired. You can see here that it created the plan and you can just press proceed once the plan looks good to you. So this is just literally one website that we're creating completely from scratch. We gave it an example link of something that we want to create and it's literally vibe coding literally creating a website that's kind of inspired by sort of that direction link that we gave it so it's a personal blog website it's a basic personal blog and it pretty much just gave the entire plan of everything it needs so this is this project is completely from scratch too from one single prompt 